can you tell the difference between these two batteries? Now obviously there's a difference in size, but one of these is a real Sony battery and one is a counterfeit. There is a very minor difference in the lettering on the two batteries. Now take a look at that one. Look at the shape of the F on the on this battery here. And also the shape of the I logo in infolithium. Now look at this one. Look at the I. See the gap between the dot and the bottom part of the I is smaller than on this one. Also the F. Look at the top part of the F on this one. And look on this one here. The top part is shorter. It doesn't go all the way to the right like it does on this one. Also the font on this one is a little bit thicker than on this. Look at the O. The O is definitely thicker than on this one. And the V is a slightly different shape as well. The little box around the V, it's a little bit bigger on this one than on this one. And even the arrow is different. It's a little bit smaller on this one compared to this one. So some very minor differences in the, all the lettering between the two, but still unless you really know what you're looking at, it's not good enough to tell which one is real, which one is fake. Now you turn it around to the other side. Obviously they both say Sony on it. This one is a FV50 and this one is a FV70. You notice this one has a recycle and it shows a 1-800 number to call for information on how to recycle it. This one does not. Just has a bunch of Chinese writing there. They both claim to be made in Japan and you notice the Sony logo is slightly different and also the registered trademark symbol. Look at the shape of the S compared to the O. Notice the S is shorter on this one compared to the O. This one says lithium ion, this one does not. Also this one has all the warnings like don't incinerate it and so forth. This one does not. Unless maybe they're all in Chinese here. Also on this one the, the stripe is a little more pastel shade of pink than on this one. This one is a little bit more, a little darker shade of pink. If you know your Sony products you probably have already guessed that this one is the fake one. Also notice the label. I don't know if I can get it in the light just right, but notice how it's bubbling up. It's not a very good quality label. This one is completely flat. No bubbles. So this one almost fooled me when I first saw it. This one doesn't weigh as much more than this one as you would expect. You expect it to be like twice as heavy. It is a little bit heavier, but not not as much as you would expect it to be. The real one has a slightly smoother plastic. This one is a little more coarse. But they're definitely getting good at making these fakes. So if you buy these info lithium batteries at anywhere else other than the genuine Sony retailer, you really have to be careful that you're not getting a fake. I don't know what kind of packaging this one came in. Usually the Chinese fake products just come in a little plastic bag while the real Sony product would come in a box or at least a plastic blister pack. So, and that's not the only fake thing here. Here's a fake Sony battery charger. Again, the logo is not quite right and you notice it's not even centered properly. It's a little bit shifted over to the, to the left. And I can tell because this is feather light. There's like nothing in here. And it has one of these really, really cheap AC cores that's I mean, this is incredibly thin wire that would never pass a UL standard. And the prongs don't even have the little circular cutouts in them. So, you can tell just by the cord that this is a fake. And again, things just don't quite look right on the back here. I don't have a real one to compare this to, but I just know by looking at it and feeling it that it's a fake. And I know the CE logo is not supposed to be shaped like that. Okay, there is a real CE logo on the bottom of a Samsung camcorder. And you compare it, the spacing between the letters and the shape of the letters to this one. 
<laughs> obviously quite a difference there. So, a fake Sony battery charger and a fake Sony battery. Gotta watch out for these things. I mean, they, they both work. I mean, I put this on the camera and it doesn't complain that it's not an info lithium battery. It works. Some of the really cheap ones, they work for a couple minutes and then the camera gives you an error that it's not a genuine info lithium battery and it shuts off. I found that battery charger in the Sony accessories catalog and it turns out the real one has an integrated AC plug. So if you see one with a separate power cord, you know it's fake. In the Olympic Winter Games, why not cheer them on by raising Petro Canada's Canadian Olympic glass for only $3.99 each? Amazingly, it's not interfering with my AM radio, Plates. but uh, it's not showing the charge indicator, so I'm not sure it's actually doing anything. Maybe the power cord is bad, because that light lights up regardless if you have it plugged in or not. The light that's showing how much the battery is charged. When I plug it in, charging indicator is not coming on, so this thing might be dead. Learn a little about a lot of things when okay, from a perspective team oops. of experts give you tips on everything That's funny. from fashion and image you heard that? and health to dealing with the stresses and challenges in your life. Maybe the battery's too good of a charge for it to start the charging circuit. Oh the, there it goes. You hear that? Now my now my AM radio reception is totally dead. All the way across the band. Meanwhile, I'm actually running this camera that I'm recording this on right now on this genuine Sony AC adapter. And as long as I keep it about a foot away from the radio, there's no interference. Obviously, if you bring it right to the radio, it causes interference, but even just that much away, no problem with reception. You're listening to the best of the best. AM 740, Toronto. Rogers Cable across Ontario at channel 949. And worldwide on the web. So that's your tutorial on how to spot a fake Sony battery or battery charger. Now obviously, if the seller just posts low-res photos, you may not be able to tell the difference. Or they might actually use the photos of a real thing and then ship you a fake one. In that case, you just have to go by price. Obviously, if you're paying 10 bucks for a battery that Sony sells for 100 bucks, then you know it's probably going to be a fake.